Thomas roll. Up at 3.45 a.m., cardio by 4.45 a.m., hitting the iron by 6.15 a.m., in my pickup truck by 7.15 a.m., heading to work, ready to get after it. Ready Why you started. All you can think about is what's in front of you right now. Somebody come look at this. Look at this. Somebody come and look at this. Look at this. Oh, fuck. And it gets pretty hard. You're like, fuck, this is going to be really hard. And you start to grind it out. And then all of a sudden things start to click. What's up to all my players from Pippa's Hose? Yo, what's up to all my players out there in Gaines, Land? It's with a Z. So check this out, man. Something I want to tell you guys about. So right now, since we on lockdown, a lot of people are trying to take advantage of us testers out here, man. And I got a perfect example. So guy called me. Well, he didn't call me. Guy sent me an email. And he was like, I'm taking... Austrian LGD3303 and I believe it was MK677 and I'm having really bad headaches and shakes and and, and, and it seems that it makes me get makes me feel really nauseous so I'm like man them side effects what so you, you got you got shakes headaches and that's first thing I told him to do was if this if this is true now whatever I say here first of all it's totally made up. Don't believe shit I'm saying here. I'm not a doctor. I'm not a pharmacist. I'm not a... I don't work at a barbecue joint. And I don't flip fries at Burger King. I'm just a brother. With a lot of experience. But if you're testing, listen up. I said, man, first thing, stop taking what you're taking. Because them side effects, man, sound like you even got the Rona. Or... Uh, uh, meningitis or something, I don't know. Right. So I said, but you know, we're going back and forth in the email. I said, finally, man, let me get your number, man. Just give me a call. I gave him the 800 number to the website. Give me a call, man. Let's really talk this out, man, because, you know, normally I don't call people, but your symptoms are got me curious, man. So I call him up. He's like, yeah, you know, this guy named Jay. He said, yeah, man, I'm taking, taking them three compounds, and it just makes me feel nauseous and headaches and all that. I'm like, really? So... How much? How much each are you taking? He goes 25. I said 25 milligrams each. He goes, no, I'm taking 25. I said, okay, 25 pills. He goes, no, one capsule. One capsule. Oh, so you're taking one of these three and ones. He goes, yeah. He said, I wanted to save money. It was like $69. And it says it gives you the best of strength and lean muscle and cutting and all that. And I was like, whoa. So, and you got uh, 120 capsules, he said. So, for, it was 69 you got 120 capsules. Austrian LGD-3303 and MK677. So, you got something that has bulk, something that is kind of can be restrictive and very powerful. And you got a... Inhibitors, you got a synagogue, you got uh, growth. Wow. So I said, Why'd you take this? Oh man, I was reading the reviews, and instead of spinning, wop, 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 I decided to go this way. I said, Well, this is the problem. This is the problem. First of all, my test rabbit, whenever he stacks oxygen with anything, gets a headache. Right? So, I know. I said, before you do anything, first of all, you have to know your limitations of your test rabbit, right? And keep in mind, when these SARMs were created, selective androgen receptor modulators, they were created for people who were bedridden, who had cancer, and mobile. This was to give them strength. This was to, because they were too weak to get radiation treatment. So it was, it was, it was used to, to help people who were really ill. Side effects was that they seemed to find out that it gave them strength. It gave them lean muscle. Uh, it, it combined to the receptors of the muscles, and, and, and they were able to uh, not go after Peter so fast. So it was a lot of benefits that us people who lift weights want. But what they weren't, and what these scientists didn't do when they created LGD or whatever, they didn't create it all to mix with each other. In other words, they weren't in the lab stacking up this stuff. They were creating that one compound for that one particular reason. So what you effectively did was, is that you went to some fly-by-night company took three different compounds 
And man, and I was like, and how much of each, man? I mean, twenty five milligrams total. What is that? Is that like eight, eight, and eight or something? I mean, besides the point. And you dose it in your body. Now, whatever anyone stack, the rec, rec, the, the way the correct way to do it is you take that one compound and you run a cycle, so you can know how your body reacts to it. Then you take that second compound, the third compound, you run them all individually so you can know what to expect from each particular one. Then, and only then, can you even think about stacking. So you know if you take LGD-3303 and you get really strong and you put on some size and you have very little or no side effects, you ran your course, now you want to stack it with some some ostrin because you want to try to cut and put on lean muscle then you know what your LGD does then you dose slowly your ostrin with the LGD at low doses until you come up to you get your, your your sweet spot then you do the same with any other compounds you run see the problem is right now we don't know if you have a uh, negative reaction to one of the three or all three but look what you got to do you got to completely stop your cycle see if I if I tell a researcher to SR9009, some ACP105, and some uh, some keratin, and she goes, you know, and I have them stagger out the cycle, and she goes, you know, when I added that keratin at 25 milligrams, I notice I'm holding water. Okay, so what we can do is, we can back that 25 milligrams down to 15. Are you still holding water? No. See, we can adjust. But if, even at that point, what we can do is just take it out the stack. doesn't mean you stop your cycle. You still run the first and second compound. So do not fall. The biggest scam in the market right now is to get anything that's quality too cheap. Because they know right now we're hurting for money. People are laid off. Cats can't go to the gym. They want to try to maintain them games. We're prime for the scam artists right now. If you're going to do anything, save up a couple dollars, get you a good quality SARM and use it as a bridge until hopefully the gym start reopening. Even if you can't work out strong, do some sit-ups and some push-ups and just stay, maintain your cycle throughout. All right, We have something called muscle memory, guys, that we can snap back. But do not get on Instagram. That's what she saw at Instagram. I think it was like Tiger Lily SARMs or something. She came up with this weird name and they promised all these grains and they had all these stock photos of these people ripped up. It ain't true. It ain't true, guys. Enhanced Athlete. NewSarms.com. Cleanest stuff you can buy. We don't stack anything. We don't combine anything because it's all research chemicals. Do your research. Run them independently and be safe. Now, I want everybody to be safe out there. Keep your distance, social distancing, wear your mask. I know, I know, it's America. We have the right to do what we want. But just be smart. A little mask ain't going to hurt you. If you. When the gym is reopened, are we, am I going back? Eventually, I will go back. But I'm going to give it a little time. Things probably will never be the same, but they don't have to be bad, guys. Do not fall for the scam artists. Okay, Peak Stocks is going Mature Muscle Fitness, NewSarms.com. It's a new location to get the cleanest SARMs out there. Or Enhanced Athlete, Mature Muscle Fit. Yeah, it's the code to save some money. Coaching, Instagram, Facebook, all Mature Muscle Fitness. Peace.